Many residents of the Senegalese metropolis, Dakar, get up in the middle of the night, hoping to collect water from their taps, which mostly run dry. A population boom in the country is intensifying pressure on scarce water resources. Now we've had this problem for two or three years. The taps, there is no water during the day. We get about four and five in the morning to get water. It's only at this time that we can get water. Otherwise, by 5.30, already there is no water. In fact, sometimes for two or three days, we don't have water. Dakar, the semi-arid capital of Senegal, has a population of at least 5 million people. A recent World Bank report pointed to poor water management as part of the reason for shortages, along with over-exploitation and groundwater pollution. Because of the lack of water, there are many people who have left the building and gone to rent houses in other parts of Dakar. Just recently, a landlord sold his apartment because he was tired of going months without water. We have lived here for years and it is sad to see people leaving their homes because they have gone years without water. According to the World Bank, Senegalese water consumption is due to increase between 30 and 60 percent by 2035. The country urgently needs to prioritize water security, the bank has warned. It is extremely rare to see a city fed by a lake that is located nearly 300 kilometers from the final destination. This is really the specificity of Senegal. There are water resources, but they are extremely far from the Senegalese capital. So pipes were laid over a distance of 250 kilometers to supply Dakar from the lake. While residents are quick to blame the government, some improvements have been reported. Despite this, a question mark still hangs over Dakar's future water supply.